Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Winter Soldier 2005 and today I'm going to be showing you what settings I use to record all of my videos in OBS and I'm going to be teaching you how to use the H.265 AMD encoder on your GPU if you have that instead of using something like an X.264 encoder which uses your processing power. So let's just go into OBS. I just opened up another instance, that doesn't matter. But you're gonna to wanna to open up the settings, uh, go to output and recording. You're gonna to wanna to have it on, you're gonna to wanna to have this output mode switch to advanced. And then uh, wherever you're recording to, uh, I prefer to do MKV or FLV because if the program decides to crash, my recording won't be lost like with an MP4. And then audio tracks, I use two, just one for my game audio and one for my microphone audio. And for the encoder, you're going to want to keep it on H.265. You don't want to try H.264 on AMD because that encoder is complete crap. I wish it was better because I would use it. X264 is the one that uses your processor and that's software based, but we're going to stick with the high efficiency H264 encoder. Uh, rescale output doesn't matter. Um, I just have it on rescale. Honestly, I don't know why. I just do, but use Lanczos. Lanczos? I don't know. When you're downscaling, but I'm not. So I don't think this really matters. But I'm doing 60 FPS. You can choose any FPS that you want. I used to do 30 FPS, but now I do 60. Uh, rescale, that doesn't matter unless you really want to rescale it down to like 720p. Um, my quality preset is, well, quality. Profile is main because there's no option. Profile level is 6.2. Tier is high. Coding type is just automatic. Maximum reference frames is just set to 1. And here we get to the rate control, which is... Uh, where things get different from X264, like, they're, they're way different. I had to learn a bunch of stuff for this. So, constant rate, bit rate would be best for X, for X264, because I'm pretty sure they don't have constant QP, which is CQP. And what CQP basically does is it adjusts the bit rate to allow for a lossless quality and for somewhat lower file sizes. So when you're standing still in a game and nothing's changing in the scene, it can record at a lower bit rate instead of a constant high, say, 40,000 kilobits per second, which that's going to fill up your drive pretty fast. Although, when you are moving, this takes up a considerable amount of data, but the files are practically lossless. And so my iframe QP is 19 right here. And P frame QP is 19. And so the lower the number, the uh, higher the quality of your recording. Um, frame skipping I have disabled. Uh, I haven't learned any of these settings here. Uh, neither have I learned these or these, 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 because I don't really think they affect it. My recordings have been fine without them. Um, deep blocking filter, I have that enabled. Uh, video adapter, that's what I'm using to record. And uh, Q size is 8. Multi-threading, OpenCL conversion, OpenCL transfer are turned off. And to access all these settings, you're going to want to switch to manual. First, it's on basic. But you can switch to master if you want. Or you could just set these settings either way without doing that. Um, audio, I just have these two tracks set to 320. I only use the game audio. I don't use this. I just use this for syncing my audio with Audacity, which is an audio program. Uh, my audio, speakers, microphone, yeah, whatever. Those don't matter. And this, this is just your, that's your base. So if I were to change this to 720p and apply it, uh, it'll only capture part of my screen and part of it will get cut off. So you do want to make sure that is not the case because I assume you at least have a 1080p monitor because I don't think 720 is really standard anymore. It shouldn't be. 
And then if you want to scale it down for whatever reason, lower upload times, lower processing power, it doesn't matter. I mean, if that's what you need, but uh, you cannot use, unfortunately, you cannot use H.265 for streaming. So you're going to be stuck with X264. Or if you really want to try out the H.264, which I really do not recommend for the AMD GPU, because it's it's worse than X, X264. And X264 will get the job done for streaming. So... That is my settings that I use. I think those are the best settings for gameplay recording, screen recording, whatever, on OBS. Uh, make sure, please, do not use the, X2, the H.264 encoder on... The, the hardware-based encoder for H.264 is just god-awful. Don't, don't. Please, do not use it at all. But... That is it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video and it helped you, please do remember to smash the like button and the subscribe button. Goodbye.